Michael from Zen Dragon asked me if I could make a collaboration video with him showcasing for you guys the Kung Fu Spear or Qiang and I'm really happy to provide that for you and I hope you enjoy it. Today we're going to work with the spear. The Chinese spear has a lot of history in Chinese martial arts. It's used in Kung Fu, Wushu, Tai Chi, and it's known as one of the four major Chinese weapons, which includes the broadsword, straight sword, and the staff. The spear comes about six foot in length, has a metal tip sharpened on both sides, and a red tassel. The tassel has a couple of purposes. One is to distract an opponent when it's moving around so that it's hard to grab the spear uh, behind the tassel and behind the spearhead. The other is in the battlefield when you would stab an opponent with the spear it would help prevent blood from dripping down the shaft which would make it slippery of course when the blood is wet and sticky as when the blood is drying. So today we're going to run through some basic spear techniques and some Kung Fu spear form. In this group of the four major Chinese weapons, the spear is known as the king of all weapons. And one of the reasons is that it's so versatile. It can be a long weapon, long range rep weapon, Spear is never thrown like you see in the Olympics with the javelin, but it's thrust. So it can be a sharp, long range weapon. You can make it into a short, sharp weapon. It can be a blunt weapon for striking. gives it a lot of versatility. One of the first and most important basic techniques to learn with the spear is what is known in Chinese as La Na Za. So La is an outside block, Na is an inside block, Za is a stab or thrust. So when we're learning, we practice as many times and you'll see that you move the hips to give power for these blocks. And it can block against another spear, swords, staff. So we practice this many, many times. When I was first learning, we had to practice this up to a thousand times per session. So today, we're gonna do we won't do a thousand because it'll take too long in the video. Let's try doing a hundred. <laughs> use spinning blocks with the spear which gives us a variety of attacks once we're done the blocks. Much like the staff but with a different attacking vector afterwards. Now let's look at some form.
enjoyed watching this video on the Chinese Kung Fu Spear. It's something that's really a lot of fun. Always been one of my favorite weapons to practice with. And I hope it inspires you to get out and be active and train in any kind of martial art. I find at any age, it's really valuable. I'm 50 years old and one of the big reasons why I feel really healthy and vital is that I practice some kind of martial arts every day. So thanks for watching, stay active, and have fun. Hope you all liked the video. I'm going to be working more with David in the future. And it's a pleasure for me because I think he's living proof that martial arts can be for anyone, regardless of age, gender. If you're passionate about something or you've been wondering about whether something is it for you, then just try it out. Now, I'm going to leave a link down below for you guys to check out his Instagram account and check out some of the other content as well here on this channel.